Hello the internet. It is Sunday the 30th of July 2017. It's the middle of winter in Australia and we have an unusually hot day. 28 degrees. What's what's going on with this? 28 degrees in in the middle of winter. So what I've done is taken a bus. The trains are out so I got a free bus to waterfall and I am taking the Alulu Falls Trail which is about 10.3 kilometers one way but I'm only doing it one way because what it does is this track goes from waterfall where I am now all the way through to Kalu Pools and then back up to Heathcote. It's an absolutely beautiful day. This track winds its way through forest and woodlands and bushlands and then all of a sudden you pop out into areas like this where it's just willy-nilly wild grasses, would you call this? That's grass. the Alula Falls track becomes a very very easy gradual walking path with some terrific Australian bushland on both sides of the path. It's beautiful. There's some there. That is a confusing sign for anybody who doesn't know the area. Waterfall 5.5 k's back the way we've just come? No. That actually means the suburb of Waterfall, not the landmark of Waterfall. If you got to this point and you had to go 5.5 k's back the way you came, you've done it all wrong. This behind me is Lulu Falls. I'm at the very base of it. It's a bit of a mission to get down here, but it's worth it. If you do come here, you kind of like do a little bit of a, you go past it and you come back up around the base and have a look at this from this angle. While I'm here at Ululu Falls, it could be a great opportunity to tell you about NSD. NSD, this episode is Black Label Society. And if you like your metal, you will certainly know Black Label Society. You will have known about Zach Wild. We toured with uh, these boys in Europe in 2012. And I'm gonna say again, when I say we, I'm always referring to the band Tracer. Now I'm not a member of that band, but I'm their tour photographer. When I use the word we, and then the word toured, and then the word with, and then the word a band afterwards, it always means Tracer. With that introduction, I think we did four shows in Europe. I've got photos of Black Label Society to show you. And if you really like the band and you want to purchase a print from these photos, you can use this coupon code gives a minute hyphen Black Label Society, all one word, all uppercase. Use the links in the description of this video to find these photos on my website and punch in that code, you'll get 15% off Black Label Society. <laughs> Even though it's 28 degrees and it's warm here in Australia in winter at the moment, the water here is still a little bit chilly. They've still got that winter ice chill to it. What the? Someone left the full Canadian club with dry under the waterfall. Who do you think did that? I did it. I brought a couple of drinks. Of course I did. Cheers to Alulu Falls and a refreshing Canadian club with dry ginger ale.
That's something I've never seen before as an Australian. That's called a lyre bird. These things make noises to imitate other animals. Hence the name, a lyre bird. You're not fooling anyone, lyre bird. I can see right through you. Even though it's 28 degrees today in Sydney and it's winter, it is a little bit colder down here. It's cold enough for me to wear a jacket just because we're a bit lower and there's water. And I do realize as I'm saying that it's cold, there's a gentleman behind me with his shirt off, sticking his head under the water. That's gotta be cold. Yeah, it's cold, die. I'm just a wuss with my jacket on. That is a Lulu Ooh. I just realized I've been saying it all wrong. It's not a Lulu, it's Oola. Oolula, Oolula. It's this. And I am here and I am gonna go to the Kalu Pools and then back up the Kalu Track, a place where you've all seen before. I don't wanna go back the way I came. Check this out, this rock. Look at this, just have a look at this rock. It starts here, goes all the way up there. Let's, let's actually get up on it and walk along it. If you get to the end and you look out over there, you see the city of Sydney. Unfortunately, the 12 to 35 is not very a long focal range. So that's Sydney. The point I was making was that there's this massive long rock in the middle of the bush and at the end of it is a view of Sydney, which you can't see. Whenever I do these bushwalk missions, I always consider myself and think I don't actually own any kind of appropriate footwear and I just wear my skate shoes. So these are Etnies skate shoes. They're definitely not the kind of shoe you'd wear trekking through the Aussie bush, but I don't actually own anything else. My question to the givers, is there a brand of footwear that makes a decent shoe that I could potentially connect with, possibly get a set of shoes, review them, from the sense of me doing this in skate shoes every time and then swapping out to actual shoes that are designed for this kind of thing. If you happen to know a brand that would be appropriate and the model number, I'd love to know about it because I haven't researched it, but I know I've got to make some changes. Walking through the Aussie bush in Etnies skate shoes, can't be doing my feet any favors. Uh, and my feet are pretty hideous to start with. They're flat, they're size 12, they're um. And this is the Kalu Pools. I've brought you here many times before on the vlog. Usually it's summer when we come here, but you know what? 28 degrees in winter. I'm happy we're here, but there's gonna be no swimming. But look at the water quality. It looks beautiful right now. Beautiful and green and deep. That is cold water though. It's winter. Don't, don't be, the 28 degrees shouldn't change things. It is winter right now. And while we're down here at the beautiful Kalu Pools on a winter's day at 28 degrees, t-shirt in winter, it's awesome. I wanna talk a little bit about my 10,000 subscriber um, changes, not special, but changes. I've mentioned that I'm gonna make a few changes to my channel when I get 10,000. I think we're at 9,600 approximately now. Much thanks to everyone who has subscribed. Welcome to the channel, the new givers. This is one community of people that are enjoying vlogging and awesome adventures, not just in Australia, but wherever this world takes me, I'm really happy to have you here. The changes that I wanna to make to my channel, and I've mentioned this already on my daily vlog and whatnot, I'm gonna begin a Patreon. I've kind of almost finished the layout and the tiers and the rewards and everything. It's, it's pretty much there. The idea behind the Patreon is that people can help me out financially to obtain certain goals and certain objectives. All of those objectives and goals are to help create the content that I'm already creating and keep it happening. At this point in, in my YouTube career, I'm almost two years in and I'm just starting to see the mechanisms of how it's rolling and I've got a few different ways of monetizing and making a little bit of coin off this, which is awesome. This is totally my goal to have this channel self-sufficient so I don't have to shoot um, gigs that I don't need to to make a coin. Having said that, I still love photography and I'm always gonna be a photographer and I'm always gonna share my photography with you guys but I really wanna create the content. So Patreon, looking good, looking good. The other thing that I've mentioned, merchandise. Now, at this point, just t-shirts is what I'm, what I'm looking at. Only t-shirts, Matt, Matt, sorry, t-shirts and hoodies and singlets and that like clothing, 
That's what I'm getting at. I've got two designs worked out right now. I've got a gives a minute classic logo design, which is what it sounds like, the logo, which is very simple, very plain, but I think it's important to have this. The other finished design I've got going is never go off your path to step on an ant. You know where this is inspired from? I think it's an awesome saying. A friend of mine made that comment on my response to Scooter Brad video, and I thought that just is perfect. Never go off your path to step on an ant. Basically, it means don't veer from where you're going on, on your life course to deal with someone that's totally irrelevant to you. That's not gonna make a difference. So there's two designs. There's two other designs coming. Just waiting on some artwork. I've got a guy, Warren, in Melbourne who's gonna do the artwork for the two other designs. One of them is That's Um, We're Out of Time. And the other one is Hello the Internet. And Danny Black inspired that one, so cheers Danny. So there's Patreon and t-shirts. The other thing that I'm gonna do, I've mentioned this, I'm gonna bring back Q&Um. The details of that will be the same as before. Ask me a question, but you have to ask it as a video. And you have to shoot it landscape. No portrait videos, this is landscape. And then the other thing that I'm really looking forward to doing, I'm gonna do a draw my life. For me, that's terribly difficult because I'm absolutely ridiculously bad at anything artwork wise. So what I've figured I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna lay it all out put all the, the dates and, and everything together, and I'm gonna draw stick figures, and then I'm gonna give that to an artist. So if you happen to know an artist who can animate from stick figures and a story, man, my life has been an absolute roller coaster. Ups, downs, relationships, countries, jobs. It's been an absolute roller coaster. It's gonna be very difficult, but I'm gonna do it. It's not gonna happen at 10,000, but I'm gonna make that start at 10,000. And those are my changes for my channel. By the way, this place is awesome. Well, I pretty much ran up from Kalu Pools. The steepest part where it's probably the most hectic that it gets is just that first, say, 500 meters. Yeah, I just charged up it. I was like, the sun is kind of getting to the point where it's not far off setting. And I know that up ahead, there's a brilliant spot I want to stop at. So I sort of paced myself and now I am feeling the heat burn on a 28 degree winter day in Sydney, Australia. This big flat rock was where I was aiming for. I think this is a great spot to watch the sunset, have some water, and have my last Canadian Club whiskey. And this sunset's gonna look insane from here. And then when it gets dark, yes, I'm in the Australian bush at night without a light, but Heathcote Station is a mere stone's throw from here. Mind you, you'd have to be like the almighty Thor, because it'd be a big throw. You can probably hear... You can hear traffic, and you can hear kids on an oval playing ball games and assorted other fun activities. Cricket, possibly. But yeah, it's just up there. So this is a good spot to chill. Last drink and sunset on a 28 degree winter's day in Sydney, Australia. You know it. That frothed up because I was running up from Kalu Pools to get to this spot before the sun went down. Oh, it's refreshing. Well, sunset was a, a decent affair. I'm gonna give it three and a half out of five. There was no uh, pink skies, there was no brilliantly awesome cloud formations. Well, there was some dark clouds, but it wasn't the greatest. 28 degrees in winter in Australia. Now that has been an outstandingly warm day. And don't get me wrong, this doesn't happen very often. In fact, now that the sun's gone, it has dropped right back down to an absolute freezing cold winter day. And I'm now wishing I had jeans. I'm very, very cold. In fact, there are some puddles along this rock that I've been sitting on that have frozen. Let's go over and have a look at those right now. Oh, that's, um, we're out of time. What? I know, I know, I can't believe it either. I keep running out of time on my vlog. But seriously, if you dig the vibe, please subscribe. You can check out my previous vlog here and a random vlog there. And if you like taking photographic photos on a photographic camera, you might want to check out my Lightroom 6 presets here.